All right, well, <clears throat> I'll tell you, sometimes you just kind of overthink the problem. Um, getting him to follow a certain compass heading with the, you know, kind of clunky drive system and everything else is just not unbelievably easy to do. But then I was sitting here and I realized that um, if you just sort of stick the docking place in the corner, you, you kind of have a wall to follow which is sort of convenient. This here, um, again, these sides, this is the new beacon of death. These sides uh, need to be lit up as well. I've only got one 08M spitting out um, information right now. But anyway, so that's the, that's the course find beacon, which basically means the robot can be anywhere, you know, around, and all it needs to do is know that the beacon is over there somewhere and he needs to know that when he's a given distance from that beacon, using his sonar, um, and it's a very rough range, I mean, it's a wide range of distances he can be from that sensor, and still, as long as he turns to a given heading, generally in that direction, he's gonna hit that wall. So, let's do that now. Starting docking routine. All right, so now he's, this is a compass. And he's going to get it. Good job. First try. Uh, so he just turned to that heading via his compass. And now we're off of sonar. Detected. Wall detected, actually. This is a turn off of encoders. Lowering line the sensor. Oh, look at this. I love that. So this is now a wall follow off of that sonar shooting sideways. And we're a given distance from the wall and we're heading, boom, 90 degrees. Oh, there's the line. I have found the baseline. You have indeed. Go forward and then turn. Simple as pie. That's the system, folks. Beacon. Know which generally where the docking is. And compass. To generally go that direction and find a wall. Wall. To follow. <laughs> Leading to the line. Line. Line follower. Scooch, turn, follow the line. Another black line at the end. All four sensors hit black. Docked done. Now, you have to envision... Oh, here's a flashlight. That'd be perfect. Alright. You gotta envision uprights like this, okay? This is... This would be a piece of copper pipe on a nylon bolt so it's insulated. And there'll be one on each side. And one of them might even be segmented, you know, for... Uh, one would be the drive battery and one would be the... Um, for the... Uh, uh, the data batteries, but basically these are my charge posts, and they'd sit like so, one on each side, one for ground, one for power, and as as Walter comes in on this dock, that post is going to hit one of these. It'll be a, a V-shaped copper contact, and it'll just drive in. This will be spring-loaded, so as it hits, you know, it'll you know, springy back and make contact, thunk, thunk, and then... Um, and then he's charging. Um, so, there you go. Um, that's the new docking system. And uh, I'll, I'll give him 95% of hitting that line every single time. The only thing I have to code now is just a very, very simple um, course fine uh, code, which is basically, you know, let's say he's way over here and his, you know, um, batteries get low. He needs to know that on a via a compass heading, the beacon's going to be over there somewhere. Or, you know, same thing around here. He basically, oh wait, my batteries are low. Start looking for the beacon, and then he just knows that pointing that direction, you know, the beacon's somewhere there. It's somewhere, somewhere between there and there is the beacon. He can kind of arrange himself there. Do a quick sweep. Oh, it's over there. Then again, okay, I'm X amount, which means I'm 
X amount of distance away from it, which means I'm within a position to hit this this wall, and then Bob's your uncle. So um, five minutes, not bad. Uh, ding, 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 ding.